In this video, you will learn how to add tick and crawls in Excel cell. I am going to show you three different methods of adding ticks or crosses in Excel spreadsheet. These three methods work slightly differently and then you can choose the method that you like the most. So here is an example task column that contains some tasks. So the first method works in this way that if I, for example, write the word completed in this cell C4 and press enter, a tick mark will appear in cell D4. And if I don't write anything, the cross will appear. So this is the way this method works. Now the second method works in a different way. So let's say my third task is completed now and I want a tick mark in cell E4. So I will simply type 1 and press enter and a tick mark will appear. And if for example a task is not completed yet and I want to put a cross mark there, I simply type 0 and press enter and a cross symbol will appear. If you don't want to use an extra column, you can put this formula in this column and as soon as you write 1, the tick mark will appear. And I'm going to explain how to achieve this. Now the third method works in a similar way to the first method but the shape of tick mark and cross mark is different and if you have hundreds and thousands of tick and cross marks then you should use the third method because this is more efficient method and I'm going to explain in a minute. So as you can see that in column F5 there is a cross mark and if I type completed in column C5 press enter this will also change to tick mark. Now let's see how these method works after a short intro. Okay, welcome back. I have created these three columns and I'm going to show you how to implement these methods. Now for the first method, I type a formula is equal to if and I select the cell where I want to write the word completed, which is C2 is the first cell. So if C2 is equals and then I put within quotation marks the word completed and I close the quotation marks. So it means if there is a word completed in cell C2, then you insert a tick. So I put a comma and within the quotation marks, I have to put this symbol. To do that, I press Windows key and dot key on my keyboard. These emojis will appear and I can select tick symbol. So let's say I select this one and I close the quotation mark and if completed is not written, then what to do? I put a comma, start quotation mark, windows and dot and I click on this cross mark, close the quotation, close parenthesis, press enter. And now I simply can drag this formula if there are only few rows or I can use the name box here to put the last row and then control D to transmit the formula. So this is the first method. So the second method of putting ticks and crosses works in this way. Here I'm going to use conditional formatting, meaning I will be formatting a cell based on a certain condition, whether I put one or zero. So I select all the cells where I want to put the conditional formatting then I click on conditional formatting and click on new rule and I select this first one format all cells based on their values and in format style I select icon sets and now I only want to use two icons a tick mark and a cross mark so in this first icon I select this tick mark. In the second icon, I select the cross mark. I don't want third icon, so I select no cell icon. And now in this value area, I put one for the tick and zero for the cross mark to appear. So this is the condition that will be applied. And now I press OK. And if I put one and press enter, it will be tick mark. And if I press zero and press enter, it will be a cross. But I don't want these one and zero to appear. So what I can do is in this conditional formatting, I click on manage rules. I have this one rule. So I click on edit rule and I will see the same dialog box. And here I have to check this box show icon only and click OK and apply and now only the icons will appear. So for the third method first I would like to show you a font that contains a cross and a tick mark and the font is wing dings. So if I click on insert and symbol and in this font area I type wing dings press enter I will see these old style emojis and if I go down I have these four different characters for putting ticks and crosses. Two for crosses and two for ticks. So you can 
choose a style whether you want a tick or cross inside a square or you want simple tick and crosses for example i have chosen these two so when i click on this there is a winding unicode number appears here 251 so you should take note of this number and you can put any other symbol there are a lot of good symbols in this font wingdings so you should take note that 251 is for cross and 252 is for tick once you have noted this now you can close this and now we have to write this formula which is slightly different than the first method if c2 is equal to within quotation mark completed then i'm going to use a function care and inside care are type 252 which was for the tick mark using the wingdings font else put care 251 which was for the cross mark and i close the parenthesis press enter and i will see this character and this is because our font is not currently wingdings so i select all the rows where i want to apply the formula and then i go to my home tab and in this font area i go down so this is the wingdings font i click on that and i will get ticks and crosses in all of my cells so by using this method you can put any tick symbol cross symbol or any emoji some like symbol, dislike symbol, any other symbol in Excel spreadsheets. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.